The transfer window's over. Let's see who we managed to get. And let's see how we started the season. So a complete roundup of the transfer dealings we managed to do. Uh, we brought in Ryan Graven Birch for £42 million. Pound. It's now worth 95 to 113 I absolutely love this kid. I think he's brilliant. Um, at some point in the future, in real life, I'd like to see him paired with Jude Bellingham. And just having a pair of them absolutely terrorise someone. I think he's brilliant. I think he's got a massive future and... I'd like to say it's a target that Newcastle probably should be going for in real life. Whether they could tempt him without Champions League football, because obviously Ajax is playing Champions League. We'll see. But here's my first signing. With this lad, I took the scouting team's advice here. Uh, they recommended Renan Lodi and... I can't really complain. He's the left back for me. I do play him here in the left back position. So, yeah. Um, again, I think it cost me 25 million. They wanted 49, but this whole realistic transfer sort of business, absolutely perfect. Because even if a team's asking for 49 million, you keep dropping it back down or get close to that transfer value, that accept it because they know that's the value. And I think that introduction this year on Football Manager has been absolutely magic. Uh, yeah. Second signing, Renan Luddy. Let's have a look at who's third. Up third is Serginio Dest, right back from Barcelona. Obviously, we all know Barcelona have got serious money issues. Um, it was a no-brainer bringing him. Uh, I'm, I definitely set up this first window to try and improve the back four and make it a lot more solid than what it is and obviously with Serginho he can play left back as well so next up I spent a total of £7 million on Mr Anthony Jordan uh, or Gordon should I say not Jordan, Gordon uh, he's signed in from Everton and got a big future ahead of him the scouts turned around and said he was one for the future he is in my first team now he's playing games He's obviously most of they are coming off the bench but He's playing games. He's going to be in and around the front first team because I'm going to try and get him to reach his potential quite quickly. Um, I think he's got all the all the all the stats there to be a top player anyway. So yeah, Anthony Gordon was the next one I threw the door. Um, first person I signed in the offensive area of the pitch really. So. Up next is a striker, and this guy I cannot highly recommend going for. He's going to have a massive future. He's going to be a wonder, wonder kid. Mr. Rensford Yeboa, and I'm not pronouncing that last name. He plays for Dynamo Dresden. You can pick him up for four million quid. Sign him. I've loaned him back to Dynamo Dresden, uh, so he's going to play for them. He's played four games this season, already scored two goals, so... You can see that he's, he's going to have potential. Look at the stats for the 19-year-old. And they're only going to pr improve. So, he's already potential value of 35000000 million. I've already made my money back. And then some. So, if you've got a chance, sign him. Now, this transfer, I don't think he's a realistic one. Obviously, we've, in real life, he's signed himself a billion pound release clause so this one I've, I, as much as I've, I've tried to stay quite realistic with the transfers for what Newcastle could and probably should be going for in the first season but well, in January or summer whenever they're going to actually get this sort of money to spend but it was too good of an opportunity to pass up getting Mr Ansu Fatty in obviously we all know that he's a wonder kid we all know he's going to be the next big thing potentially um but yeah it was a no-brainer to bring him in when i could and yeah I'm, I'm interested to see how long i can hold him on for and how he gets on this season uh he's no longer in uh sunny spain he's up in the dun. that was a terrible terrible geordie impression sorry you know castle fans <laughs>
told to assign the centre back. And here he is, Nicholas Su. FC Bayern uh, signed him, and he's been an absolute beast for me already. I don't get why he's already dropping off, like, but it is what it is. Uh, he plays played three, scored two. You can't ask for more than that. So, yeah. <laughs> Uh, brilliant signing. I got him for 20 million, I think, in the end, so can't complain at all. And last through the door is Mr. Andre Onana. Now, I know in real life he's currently suspended. He's suspended on the game as well until October. Um, however, you can't argue that he's a quality goalkeeper. And he's definitely an improvement on Dubravka. So, it was a no-brainer to bring him in as well. Obviously, when he gets going, well, excited to see how he gets on. But, for now, he's still suspended, so, he's, yeah, he's in the naughty corner. But, yeah, roll on 4th of October. Just one more month to wait. As for outbounds, I got rid of Jeff Hendrick, and I got rid of Joel Linton. There was a few more players that I wanted to get rid of, but just wouldn't go uh, I've got Kieran Clark leaving in January I've, I offered him out for free at the end in the end because nobody wants him so I've offered him out for free and is it is it Calgary I think I picked him up from Syria so they're gonna pick him up and that's gonna go through in January Dwight Gale has moved to Middlesbrough on loan and as long as he pays but well, actually, he's already made a mandatory £1 million fee, so he's gone off to Middlesbrough in the Championship, so he stays local as well. Anyway, let's jump in to the league. As you can see, we're doing pretty well. Top of the league, three wins, nine points, 11 goals. Right, it's 11 goals, so I've not conceded a goal yet. We've won, but we've won, won all three games by with a clean sheet. So, and I wasn't, it wasn't good enough to get me manager of the month either. Mr. Brendan Rodgers got manager of the month. Why did Brendan get the manager of the month? Who knows? But he did. Never mind. We move on. And we won't dwell on it too much. So, who are we playing today? Well, if you guys are keen eyed, you'll see that we are taking on Wolverhampton Wanderers, the Wolves. Um, and you're going to have a little look at the tactic that I'm playing. Now, I'm going to level with you. It is a 4-2-3-1 Gangnam Press. And it is a it is built on GYRFM's Swanzalona from last year. I basically used that as spine as the original tactic and I made a couple of small tweaks in players specific roles. All this is very much the same. Um but yeah, I've made a couple of tweaks in terms of their own sort of roles. Oh, and so fat is gonna make his debut. He's not fully fit them. Um so yeah. Uh I think when I swapped to that in pre-season, um our pre-season went from a bit of lacklustre and we're just dominating teams again. We Absolutely terrorised teams in pre-season after I implemented this tactic again. Um, GYRFM, this tactic is immense, boy. And if you're not using it, I don't know what you're doing. Uh, it's just called Trincao. I remember when I saw Trincao on Football Manager 21 last year. I thought it was quite disappointing. Right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, 
First highlights for us, and for some reason it's gone into slow mo. Why are we in slow motion here? A few moments later. Apologies, I've swapped it into 2D to see what, see if it will help with the gameplay. Um, looks like it will, and Wilson missed his penalty. How shit are you? Pardon the French. Uh, I'll have to have a look and have a play of what's changed because it's not running as smoothly as it was in the past so it how uh, it's smooth smooth right it, it ran smooth in the first episode i don't know what's changed since i'll have to have a little play so apologies for 2d for this game i'll try and make it a one-off as grabbing birch smashes it over So Junior Odessa has now picked himself up an injury. Bloody useless. Not many highlights to play either, and Wolves have really come back at us. So, uh, uh, let's break them. We're going to be trying to nurse Dest through the whole game. And Sufati. Dest, Willock, Dest, finds Willock again, he finds Grabben Birch, he finds Anzu Fatty with a lovely ball out there. Oh, it's picked up now, after the clearance, St. Maxim, Gordon, St. Maxim! The South of goal. I am finding scoring a lot more goals from set pieces on this game. Right, I wish I'd taken Dest off earlier. Let's get Jacob Murphy on there. Oh, half a star, even though it says he can play as a wing back. Not good. Not good. He's up against Adama Troy. That's not going to last long, is it? Let's see how he gets on. St. Maxim is powering through, and he went for goal. Fair play to him. Now, I know who my transfer targets are in not January, in the summer. So it's told, it, it says to us that it's predicted to get a hundred million pound transfer budget. Now I'm going to have to probably do some wheeling and dealing and get rid of a couple more players, but I have identified my two targets. So I'm hoping, I think I'm hoping I'll get one. If I can, I'll get the two. Because if I don't get the one. Because I know why I might not get the one. But if I don't get him, then it could be a case of... Oh, we've scored. It's going to be ruled out, that is, isn't it? No. No, VIR. Of course, it's going to be... Oh, that's new. Never used to get them. <laughs> Saint Maxim. Um, yeah, so, anyway... Yeah, I know why I won't get one. I'm going to try to get him, but I know why I'm not going to get him. Because there's going to be 100 clubs going after him. Because his release clause is activated. So, I'm fully expecting a battle to get him. Um, that's why, to be fair, getting Champions League football this year will help so so much in actually achieving that. Um, because if we're playing the Champions League, he's possibly going to be looking at it and going, actually, do you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll join them. So. We are playing some scintillating stuff here. Same Maxim for Gordon. Gordon gives it to Graham Birch. 
Grumbler to get himself some space. I thought, I wanted to say he was going to shoot, but then he looked like he tried to play it through to Wilson. So, let me know in the comments if you think you know who I'm going to be signing. Or at least trying to sign in next summer. Plus, to be fair, if you get if you get the guess wrong, it might give me a good backup option. Ooh, wow! This highlight's going on for a little while, isn't it? So. And too fatty. Come on, boy. Wonder Kid. Gets it to Murphy. Murphy playing in a right wing back here. Graven Birch wins the corner. St. Maxim is going to whip it in. Gets on the whippage. Lasalles. Thought he was going to get his second of the game then. Uh, so Ansu is starting to feel it, so I'm going to take the advice and get him off that pitch. Ryan Fraser started the season really well, so he's very much an unlucky casualty in the fact that the Ansu is now fully fit. As Willie Bolly has now pulled a goal back for New Year Wolves. Uh, that's not what we wanted. I'm just kind of annoyed that we're having to play it in 2D. I really am. Hang on, there's nothing wrong with 2D. There's nothing wrong with people that play it in 2D. I just like 3D. So, I have to see what's gone on. Cannon Wilson is playing absolutely diabolical. Should I... Berate him. Absolutely god awful that is. See, I know it's uh, Saul, but I'm gonna start shouting to see at him. Callum Wilson. See, oh, it just be, it would just be my luck us now losing because we've actually. Kept three clean sheets, and I've changed the goalkeeper to Bravka's. This is De Bravka's first game back, if I'm right. And he's conceded in this first game he's played. How shocking. Oh, Wolves last minute. De Bravka jumps on it. <laughs> on St. Maxim. Oh, he loses out, but Loddy's got it. Loddle. Loddy, Loddle, Loddle, whatever it is. Renan. He chan't keep him in the corner. Oh, I've got a corner. Ref, time. Free kick, yes. That's got to be the game. That's got to be the game. Game, set and match. Thank you very much Wolverhampton Wanderers for hosting and we will see you soon. <laughs> we'll see you at our, back at our place. Okay, so I'm pleased. I hope you guys are pleased as well. Let me know in the comments what you think uh, of my transfer business. Whether you think I've actually done really well. Um, one thing I didn't say is where is it no not finances i want transfers click transfers we spent 213 million that obviously includes the brucey stuff beforehand so that does include like joe willock uh in there but total we spent 212 million um Easiest way to probably say that is actually what's going on here. 
Started off with a transfer budget of 200 million and I've got 16 million left, so. A very good window, I think. And we've still got some transfer budget to play with, so. Guys, thank you very much for checking it out. Remember, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what you think of the transfer dealings I've done. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye-bye.